Hi, here we have two SOX sodium lamps. They're the same wattage, the same size, even the same manufacturer. The only difference being that one is slightly older than the other, or rather it's had more usage than the other. We look at it more carefully, they're Osram 18 watt SOX, made in Great Britain. Now these lamps are obviously not going to show them working because you need additional gear, ballast and a starter unit. But we'll just show you what they're like, the way they've been made, manufactured. I'm going to get that light right because it's not showing very well. I think I've lost my knack of getting the lights showing on, on them well. Here you can see the arc tube in the shape of a U. The heaters that light up to get it going sets up the arc. There's mercury in the tube in fairly small quantities. The, uh, the actual envelope itself is within a high vacuum. It's even got this silvering effect which is done by a getter which is a device that removes the last traces of air out of the lamp. Valves often have this. Some other discharge lamps have this and you often see it. But as I say the main thing is this tube. Now I'm trying to work out which one's the oldest one there? This is the one that's not so old, I believe. No, I tell a lie. This, this is the older one of the two. If you look at the actually electrode or the heater, it is. It looks like it's had quite a bit of wear. It looks really old and corroded. This is still a worker, by the way. Let's have a look at the other one. The other one you can see the tube is much cleaner, the heaters are definitely in better nick. Once again you've got this kind of gettering again to reduce the air. should mention this internal U-tube is also sealed off. It is sealed off differently from the out the outer envelope and needless to say it is working with so sodium vapor the light these give out is the characteristic yellow what for what they are very efficient but the color is not to everyone's choice certainly wouldn't want to have one of these working indoors used a lot on street lights although now they're changing over to the high pressure types anyhow I think that's all I've got to say on on these just two that that I was sort, sorting out from all the bits and pops that I've got anyhow once again any comments please make any questions please ask please subscribe and thank you again for watching. Thank you.